ladies and gentlemen, get ready to listen to some mumbly jumbly. All the way from St. Albans, your host for tonight, Abs the Magic, Super Coach Godfather. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining. We're going to find out today. Is Tom Mitchell worth bringing in? There's a myth going around, and I use the word myth even though I have to say the TH word, so it's really myth going around. That Collingwood midfielders don't score points. Is this true? Let's find out. Okay, the first thing we do is look at Tom Mitchell's price. It's at 528k, which is, I've never seen Tom Mitchell this cheap in my life. That's cheap. Now, before I even go here, see this team here? This is Auto Peak. How good is Auto Peak? It's given me Ridley, Dacos, and Ed Richards. This is un an unbelievable Auto Peak. Anyway, let's get back to Tom Mitchell. Let's take a look at his scores. He's priced at 96. His previous scores are 117, 113, 129, 118. I mean, he's in his third year, he scored 104. He's priced at 96 now. He scored 104 in his third year. This has to be value. Let's continue. Okay, let's have a look at his scores from 2021. And we're talking captain material. We're talking Mr. Consistent. So just to calm it down now, when you, we're, we're trying to find 96, okay? Just calm it down. We're going to find it, okay? Why is he going so... Why did he go so bad? 2022, what happened? Okay, he didn't get started. He had a decent patch about here, but that's about it. It's not even a Tom Mitchell patch. All right, let's, let's work this out. CBAs, okay, 2022 CBAs. Now, let's go 2021. I had to go to the Hawthorne team because he's, they go by the previous team, not the current team. So let's have a look at um, Tom Mitchell. Everything is green. Okay, green means 60 to 80%. Yellow means 80 to 100%. Okay, so green is good. Only one, two, three, three blue ones. The rest is all green and yellow. So Tom Mitchell played a lot of midfield in 2021. What about 2022? What did he do? He's not even at the top yet. Newcomb's gone there. Amira's there. Even Amira's not getting it. Mitchell is right down. Ooh, only one, two, three, four, five. Only five in green. The rest is blue. This is way below Tom Mitchell's standard now. We only got five games where he played uh, above 60% mid, uh, mid time or CBAs. So this is, is not good for Tom Mitchell last year, but it's good for us. Now let's have a look at the map charts. See exactly where he played last year. Okay, let's go one by one. A little bit of mid, a lot of wing. Okay, that's not good for him. Round two. Okay, he played a bit of mid, but he sort of drifted the wings... Okay, round three. Again, wings. It's not really a good map for him. Round four. All right, this is a good map. What did he score round four? This is a Tom Mitchell map that I know. Round four, 119. There you go. All right, let's close these. Round five. Okay, well, he had, a, he had a big game this game. He had 142 this game, so he must have scored a couple of goals. He's gone into the goal square and kicked the goal there. But um, this is a good map again. Very heavy in the middle. That's why he got the 142. Round six. Again, not that good. It's okay. Round six, what did he score? Round six, 105. So it's okay. Uh... Yeah, I've lost my heat maps. All right, round seven. Okay, so he's still in the middle, but he's not really in the middle middle. See, like he's gone. He's drifted down. He's actually gone in a back line. 
He's not even in the back line. I don't think he knows where he is. Round 10, back in the middle. What's his score, round 10? 129. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? So you get the drift. Uh, big scores when he's in the middle. Not too big when he's not in the middle. Okay? Okay, it's time to break this myth or mit now. Okay? Now, Collingwood, CBAs, midfielders. Everyone's saying they don't score points. Let's find out. First of all, let's have a look at the CBAs. Who's got the mid time? Taylor Adams, a little bit. Pendlebury's a different player. Okay, so Pendlebury's more of a class, low possession but classy player. So I can't compare him to a Tom Mitchell. So I'm looking for a Tom Mitchell type of player. So a player that, that gets like 30 to 40 touches. Pendlebury isn't that kind of player, all right? Now, we saw Jack, Jack Crisp last year, and um, and his scores were low, but look at his CBAs. They're low too, okay? That's why his scores were low. Now, Jordan Dagoe, all right, you can argue is your main midfielder here, but Jordan Dagoe is also the forward. So he starts midfield, then goes forward. So who does that leave over? That leaves Taylor Adams, okay, as the next one. But Taylor Adams only played midfield. How many games? Not many. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe half, maybe less. So you can't compare these midfielders from Collingwood and say their midfield don't score points. Well, of course they don't. One of them goes to the forward line. One of them has hardly played a game. Uh, Scott Pendlebury's played half his game in defence and the other half in the, for in the midfield then goes back to defence again, then goes to the forward line and uh, isn't really a possession player. He's more of a class low position but but high quality player you got Jack, Jack Crisp who's hardly had CBAs so of course the midfielders aren't going to score points but but this year they are because Tom Mitchell's there now it's time for the final verdict and let, let me explain you something now okay just come it down when you have a player price at Roughly 530k, he's just a bit under, and he's averaging 96. But you think, you think, okay, you think he can average 110. But I'm being extremely conservative, okay, he's gonna average more than 110, he's gonna go 120. But I'm just, let's just be conservative, okay, let's say 110. Just calm it down. If we can average 110, his value is worth 605k. So he's already he's already 75k undervalued right now. And, and that's a good deal. I mean, if you give me 75k from each one of my players, and when you've got 30 players at 75k, you are laughing, okay? You were looking for value, and this this Tom Mitchell is screaming out. He's saying I am value, okay? Now, remember that boat story we had last time? We're going to do it again. So, with Tom Mitchell, get a boat. Go in the middle of the ocean. Get the keys, throw them out. Then come back, throw away the keys. Here's a lock. Lock. That's all for today. Thank you for joining, and always remember one thing. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now.